Hello there. My grandma passed away several months ago, and we're suing my uncle. But before that, let me talk about my first grandma. My first grandma, she passed away about like 10 years ago. She was a boss. Before she passed away, she knew her time was up. She knew she was pretty much ready to go at any time. So she handled her affairs legally. She divided all her, her investments, all of her, her portfolio, you'll say, of、uh, real estate and businesses and money. She divided it up evenly and fairly amongst all of her children. So her sons got a fair amount, her daughters got a fair amount, and her grandchildren got a fair amount of her portfolio. Before she passed away. And、uh, there w a s no problems afterwards. Everything was settled. Everything was hunky dory. But now, a few months ago, my second grandma passed away. Now, this grandma, she was a nice lady. She was, you can compare her to like a golden retriever. She was that nice to people, especially strangers. This grandmother, She didn't really handle her affairs legally and fairly. See, what you don't know about my second grandma is that she had four children from her first marriage. And then she divorced, remarried, and then she had another child, a fifth child. You can call this child the, the, step, the stepchild. Okay? Because. The four children, and then this, this、uh, brother, this uncle from another father, didn't really get along well. They, they got along well, but they knew the divide that was there. So, what this stepchild did a few months ago was that he smelled the blood in the water. And、uh, when my grandma was getting sick before she passed away, she was really sick. He made her sign a bunch of legal documents. Sign here, sign here, sign here, sign here. And、uh, she didn't read over these documents. And、uh, if she did, she would know that she was basically signing away most of her investments over to solely to the stepson. So. We've been、uh, suing or going through this. Legal battle with my step uncle for over a year now. And things are heating up recently because、uh, he's been recently testifying. So it's a big mess, a lot of drama, it's unnecessary. But why am I telling you this story? Well, I'm going to tell you this story because it's two things. One, before you go, know that no one else is going to handle your affairs other than your lawyer. Okay, so get all your affairs in order, is what I'm saying, before you're, you're about to kick the bucket. Whether you are a grandma, grandpa, father, mother, just make sure all your, your legal affairs are sorted because if you don't sort them out now, Someone else is going to have to clean up the mess. And unfortunately, my mother has had to bear the burden of sorting this just shit show of a mess, this legal troubles. Because basically, the four children are fighting for their share of their mother's investments, which the stepson, like snake like, took away from all four of them. So that's one. Get your legal affairs sorted out before you kick the bucket, or someone else will have to clean up your mess. Two, money does not change you. Money does not change you. Money just shows you who you really are. Whether you're rich or poor, you are still you. So, this step uncle of mine, I knew he was a snake from the beginning. And now, recently, he just 
showed to all of us what he's capable of doing when money's involved. He was always an asshole, and this lawsuit just proves that. So, be mindful of the people around you when money's involved. Okay? They were assholes before they had money or they were fighting for money. So, money doesn't change you. If I had a lot of money, I would be the same nice Papa Just. I would give my money to everyone, help out everyone as, as much as I could. Okay? Not some asshole like my step uncle. So, learn from this lesson. Have a great day. I love you all. And bye bye. Yeah.